Hey, I'm Rock. I'm Phil. I'm Martin. And we are the Nerd Council. Today we are reacting to Attack on Titan episode 16, season 1. Uh, yeah, you guys ready to get on? Yeah. All right, cool. Cool. And you guys are ready to sub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hopefully they're already subbed, you know, but sub, yeah, sub, sub, sub please. Sub. <laughs> よし、俺だ。よし、俺だ。42 so I wonder if they're going to figure out who killed the Titan. I think later. Because he's weak, though, he's yeah. able to, you know, like, be a, be a better leader because he understands their point of view. That's the worst one to join, man. Yeah. You gotta go out and fight Titans every day, you know? Every yeah. time they freaking leave. And he kinda Marco Marco's the one talking to him there in that flashback, yeah. right? Because John was he was top ten, so he could have been the elite and just chilled with the king right. inside, but you know. Yeah, yeah, he chose. You don't make a difference there. Yeah, 
決まってんだろ調査へ<笑>じゃあお前なんで別に巨人が怖くないからそう決めたわけじゃねえよそれに有能なやつは調査兵団に入るべきだなんて言うつもりもない俺は死に急ぎやろうとは違う He's from an e r r a n d 調査兵団に入ってるんだよなクレーヘー生物何度を正面にならない何度を正面に俺はな誰かに説得されて自分の命をかけてるわけじゃない He's the guy who kind of, you know, Gene just talks a lot, but he needs to like prove himself, kind of, person.、Mm. Right? Yeah. I mean, he was still number six, so he's not like completely like, useless, but you know. Yeah. Come to my side, even more people. Oh, really? Remember the, the key? Oh, like the literal key? Yeah, the literal key.、Uh, oh, I still、yeah. don't know why they just don't go there and open it right now. There's tigers there, dude. Yeah, they, they closed one of the gates, but there's still that big gate where the,、oh. where the thing is. And that one's open. See, now everyone has hope. They finally have an objective. Before it was just like kill all the Titans. Now it's like they actually have、um, they actually have a key that can lead to total annihilation. I feel like I thought their gear kind of maneuver around the Titans and get to the basement right away, but I don't know. I think they're just, it's kind of a big gap. And also, no, I mean, if you think about it, there's, that well, gate broke 10 year, years, years ago. That place is probably packed with t- like, Titans. And if they're using their gear again, they're going to have to take down all those Titans.、Uh-huh. There's more that can just come through the gate. That must be the Trost gate up there.、Mm-hmm. If you got to the top 10, you can get into the military club. Right, right, but there's an end. You know, yeah, yeah, so, so if you're not top 10, you can、garrison. go into the garrison.、Yeah. What does the garrison do again? They're like the police. The military police guard the king.、Right. The garrison are just like the normal police. They're all police, okay. Yeah. People are just leaving in troves. Yeah. Make a speech like Aaron. We're just walking away, man. That's hard for the top 10. Like, you can have the cushy life next to the king, or you can freaking go out and fight killer titans. 
I saw it. Honestly, I would join the military police for those. Sorry, uh, hum- humanity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that sacrifice. I'll move to the last piece of humanity. I'll be the last one alive. Yeah, I'll be the last one alive. That's that's like our like life a, too, you know. Yeah. Say, like, do you want to be comfortable or do you want to make a difference in that's the world? That's true. Very, very true. Right. A lot of people one leave. One is hard. Comfort. One is one is easy. A lot of people leave like, you know, stability and comfort in order to make a change that they're passionate about. Yeah. Was it a flashback he just kind of visioned? It wasn't a true one? That gene that's right there? I um, think so. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I don't want that of course, though. There's like 20 people that heard that. <laughs> This is Commander Irwin, I think. Yeah. gives the kind of bullcrap like speeches he's like hey 30 percent of you are gonna die yeah. <laughs> like i'm just telling telling you actually it's more like 60 no 30 percent are gonna die and 60 percent or the 70 percent are gonna be stronger ちみつの陣形でありながらそこにエイエイガーの配置が示されていないことだった。お前たち新兵はここだ。庭舎の護衛班と作敵支援班の中間。ここで予備の馬と兵装、伝達を任せ。俺たち特別作戦班はここだ
今飲んでいたマルコが死んだって言ったのか誰しも劇的に死ねるってわけでもないらしいぜどんな最後だったかもわかんねえよあいつは誰も見てないところで人知れず死んだんだマルコが<笑>おい新兵集まれ<笑>制服が届いたぞ<笑> yeah, I mean... Of the military police, so yeah, all or nothing. Yeah, we were getting into it. So、uh, let's start this outro. What did, what did you start think? Start with me first. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Where, forget all my questions. There you go. Yeah. <laughs>、uh, oh, you know what's funny? Like, I thought Commander e r w i n had a plan against him, but seeing, at the end here, we see him in the front kind of fighting, so he puts himself out on the line. But him, when he was back at base, was talking to the other guy who said he sensed something from Commander Irwin. Yeah. Like a mask that he was like. He was like, he was like I can sense that you have some, some plan you're、yeah. not saying. So I want to know、yeah. what that is. And again, I don't know if that's a spoiler, so we're going to wait to see it. Of course. Yeah, you're going to have to wait. Yeah. yeah. But that, that's interesting. Now we got to a point where one is like to help the team. I would down villain like it is because Commander Irwin's in the front there. So,、um, what else? Do you have anything else? <laughs> oh, well, I'm still building. Yeah, I can't、um, think of anything. I'll bet you'll come back to it.、Uh, so, yeah, the,、um, I think this episode was big on just like rallying the troops,、uh, but also at the same time giving them hope that there is a plan, and、uh, if they accomplish this plan, they could potentially wipe out all the Titans if it goes, you know, if it goes their way, but they don't know.、Uh, 
Um, yeah, a lot of pressure's on Aaron now because if he doesn't control his Titan power, then they could all get wiped. All the humans yeah. could get wiped out easily too. So I don't know. There's a lot of riding on them. Um, I want to. I can't wait for the next episode because I'm like I'm still waiting for them to finally get that that tidbit of information that's going to help them like kill all the Titans. Mm-hmm. And we still yeah. don't know who killed the two Titans in the captivity. Oh, right. Uh, they were kind of questioning that, but we didn't really get any sort of... any any uh, further into discovering mm-hmm. who that was. So I wonder if that will be brought up yeah. sooner or later. I guess we'll just have to see. When it came to giving them hope for this episode when I first watched it, I actually thought the opposite because Erwin has these, like, no bullshit kind of, like, speeches where he's just like, hey... Like, these, these are the facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. 30% of you are not coming back. You know? Yeah, exactly. It's just it's very, like, straightforward. But it is, it is hopeful in that it's like, it's like he, was, he was like, the 70% of you do come back that are going to be a superior, yeah, like, soldier. So, you know, yeah, it did, it did have, have that hope aspect. But his speeches are so... Not, not like, counterintuitive to, to Aaron's, like, speeches, but they're different, you know what I mean? Because yeah. Aaron's always like... We can do this if we if we work as a team, and you know, and yeah. Erwin's like, no, some of you are not coming. Yeah, back. he's more realistic yeah. about the situation. Realistic versus optimistic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Aaron, Aaron's more optimistic. But no, there was a point he said in the four years that they were out in the fourth year, they lost sixty percent. Yeah, that? no, that that was just so, he was just saying the numbers, like he's just so he's just being he, real. So it is sixty percent that is. Like, so sixty percent are dead from when from the four years. In case you're right. not getting that, yes. Yeah, so but that's not what for what he was saying for for them. Thirty percent oh, of them are going to die oh, in the past four years. So sixty percent. That's a total. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I was wondering because that's a lot for one survey. Corpse. <laughs> like, that's like yeah. a lot. So sixty percent of the survey corpse in the four years they were going out and exploring yeah. died. Yeah, died. Yeah. But still, it's a crazy show. I mean, just the fact that they put their lives like on the line. They're more like the front line where the military police. Oh, that was it. John, Jane. Is it Jean? John. Or John? All right. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Jean. Yeah. I'll say Jean. It's not spelled that way. But I, that was it. He, he kind of changed a lot. I like he's more level headed because of a Marco's sacrifice. So he's more like, you know, I want to do something more than just lay back. Mm. That was really cool. I think I like Gene now a lot more than before. Yeah. I, I did like what Marco was saying. Like, it was funny to where you guys were laughing, but it, it was also real. Like, he was like, Gene, you're not strong. So yeah. you, you, you get <laughs> us. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like, like yeah, you're, yeah. you can be a leader be, be, because like blue, you're like us. You he's know? like the blue exactly. collar, like poor man's like version of like, yeah, I don't really want to do it. Do it. I just want to work and get by. And yeah, that, but then he but changes that, his attitude. But he changes his attitude. Like, he yeah. wants to be more ambitious and yeah, work harder to get there and I think to make really a difference to make yeah. a difference yeah mm-hmm. alright guys yeah so uh, yeah that's kind of our synopsis of everything uh, for our outro my so, name is Rock yeah. I'm Phil I'm Martin and we'll see you next time see ya